What does it mean to truly live outside your comfort zone? I'm the guy who can't learn a lesson without failing multiple times first, so I'd like to help you guys out and show you what it means to truly live outside your comfort zone. The truth is, I started YouTube for all the wrong reasons. That's why I failed for so long. I was so interested in the money and the fame that I didn't care what I put out, as long as it got views. And it didn't. If you've been following my journey for the past two and a half years, you know how different my content really has become. I started off trying to be a role model as a cross country runner. I myself was a division one track and cross country athlete, and that's all I knew. It brought me so much joy and happiness for six years, but then something changed. I got to college and running was no longer about enjoying the workouts or fun competition between lifelong best friends. I became a pawn to the NCAA. And coaches only cared about what I can provide at the scoreboard. Suddenly running didn't bring me happiness. I've always said life is too short to waste your time doing what you don't love. So I jumped ship and joined YouTube full time. I made videos about anything I thought would blow up on this platform. So like any YouTuber, I dyed my hair and started daily vlogging with my best friends and put out anything I thought would stick. It didn't. Looking back, it's so obvious I was holding back from really living outside my comfort zone and pursuing my dreams. Eventually I moved from Texas to Florida with some fellow YouTube friends to get serious about this whole YouTube thing, which was a huge turning point in my life, definitely outside of my comfort zone. When I got here, I assumed I could just keep making daily vlogs about my life and eventually something would pop off. Again, they didn't. And suddenly, I wasn't happy anymore. So I got a real job to pay the bills, making below average videos on the side, but was settling into an average life, staying comfortable, thinking one day, I'd really like to push myself, but not today. Eventually I got the balls to really be vulnerable, step out, make videos I loved filming, actually push myself to try new things, and it actually worked. People started noticing I was passionate about the videos I was making, and I actually, for the first time, started growing on YouTube. Keep in mind, this took almost two years to realize. Today, every time I go out filming, I have no idea what emotions are going to rush through my brain. I don't know what I'm going to do or if I'm even going to be able to walk the next day. I genuinely believe I'm living life outside of my comfort zone, but only when I'm on camera. You see, I hold back on my dreams every day because I tell myself I'm not ready or it's a stupid idea or that I need to be reasonable with my life. All these thoughts in my head are slowly putting me into a box that I built myself, preventing me from stepping out. I've learned living outside your comfort zone is way more than just physically pushing yourself to limits, jumping bigger cliffs, risking your life for the thrill. Truly living outside your comfort zone is to block out all judgment from the outside world and live life as if nobody is watching. Completely free to make decisions for yourself, free from negative opinions and the fear of the unknown. Truth is, all we know is the unknown. We aren't even guaranteed to wake up tomorrow morning, so why be afraid to talk to that stranger today? Why hold back from trying new hobbies? Why stop yourself from taking that road trip with friends? You know you're gonna have a great time. You know the hardest part is just starting. Don't let others' opinions dictate what you do with your life. Live your life in a way that truly makes you happy. The worst thing that could possibly happen is failure, but it's also the best. It teaches you how to improve and grow. Today I film videos I love, regardless of what the comment section says. I love thrills and adrenaline rushes, and doing something bigger and better than I ever thought possible. At the end of every video, I tell my viewers to try something new, get out of your comfort zone, do something different with your life. Because I want my influence on this platform to do nothing but encourage people to face their fears, live the life they want, not the life they have. Right now, think about the one thing you want to do, but have been too afraid to attempt. Fear is just a state of mind. You have to understand the difference between fear that keeps you alive and fear that keeps you from living. If you're waiting for a sign, here's your sign. Get up, get out, and truly live outside your comfort zone. You'll thank me later. My favorite creators on this platform encourage me to do something different, and if I've ever done that for you, I'd love to read about it in the comment section. No matter how long the message is, I'll read every comment and respond. I'm not going to turn this into an ad, but if you love what I do and the message I put out, please feel free to show some support on Patreon. It's the first link in the description and every penny donated goes directly to making new videos for you guys. It would mean the world if you even just donated one dollar. It goes a long way. It's kind of the only way I fund my projects, honestly. The videos on this channel are only getting better from here. I have so many ideas I know you guys are going to love. I can't thank you enough for giving me this voice to reach out to so many people. I'll leave you with this one simple quote. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Thank you.